Well, I guess you could kind of see me. Whew. So day, we are on day 10 of God plus discipline. So today was, like with this morning, I woke up, I was like, oh man. I really don't feel like going nowhere, right? I was sleeping real good. Last night, workout was really good. Shout out to Babe. He did really good. And he made me push myself. So that was dope. But and, you know, by pushing myself, I was like, mm, I'm sore, sore, right? So I really just want to lay here. I don't want to do nothing. But um, something was like, get up. Get up. If you don't get up, you're going to finish the rest of the week like this. You're going to continue the rest of the week saying, mm, I don't really feel like it. You saw the fruits of what happened last week, yet you are so trained mentally to be complacent that you're going to revert back to what didn't benefit you. So I rolled on out of bed. I brushed my teeth. I washed my face. I already had pulled out my clothes. So in my heart, you know what I'm saying? In my mind, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this. But my my flesh, my negative nature was like, oh, well, you already went last night. You don't really need to go again today. But no, that's not true. So this morning's God plus discipline is no matter how you actually feel or whatever, um, Whatever, I want to say not vibes, but I want to say whatever energy other people are putting out um, in regards to your progress, and sometimes it actually affects you, um, you have to remember why you're doing what you're doing so that you can continue to do what you're doing, right? So just because you don't feel like doing it doesn't mean that you don't have to do it. Like we don't, we get up every day, like everybody gets up and they go to a job that they hate. They get up because they have to pay bills, right? They have to pay bills to live. They have to make money so they can eat. They have to do this or that. So they're even if they don't want to walk into that job, guess what's going to happen? They're going to walk into that job. So I want what I want. I know what God has shown me. And I know partly the plan to get there. Because sometimes God doesn't give you the whole thing because he knows that it's, it's a process. It's a process. If I give you, if, if you're faithful over little, then I'll make you faithful over much. So I'm, I'm working on being faithful over my little, whether that be him saying, this is what you need to do for this amount of days and stay consistent. This is what you need to do, blah, 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 and be consistent, right? Just know that as long as you have God, you have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is going to convict you when you're not doing what God said, but God still gives you the free will and the choice to not do it. Because if you don't do it with a grateful heart, then you're doing it in vain. But if you do it knowing that having faith in what's being done and knowing that God, there's going to be an outcome, uh, a fruitful outcome and, and a uh, amazing outcome, then guess what's going to happen? God is going to bless that. God is going to bless you because of your obedience. God is going to bless you because of your discipline. God is going to bless you because you've decided to put yourself out there and expressing your faith to change somebody's life, to give somebody hope. Because again, the Bible says hope deferred makes the heart sick. And a lot of people are running around here sick they're sick and they're tired and they're going to other devices to try and get what they want but they don't understand that God is not a magic genie you can't just rub him and get what you want there is a uh, discipline and hold on one second so I'm sorry but hope deferred makes the heart sick so there are a bunch of people running around here with sick hearts right they're trying to achieve what they thought was their purpose. They never really asked God what their purpose was. And so they're actually looking at other people and coveting what they have and reaching and, and willing to go to, to extreme extents to get those things, right? And they don't, they're not asking God. But when they do ask God, they try to treat God like a magic genie. And God is not a magic genie. God says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these other things will be added unto you. He is not required to give them to you right now. Are you seeking God first? That's the question. So God plus 
discipline. And that's how I'm going to end this five minute video. I hope that everybody has a blessed day. Are you seeking God first? Because in order to know yourself and know the purpose that you have in this earth, you have to know your creator. So shout out to God. Thank you for having your son die for us. And thank you for the Holy Spirit that is our comforter. He is everything to us that we need here on earth to keep us and to bless us with the knowledge and wisdom we need to survive, to make it, and to bless others. Everybody have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to all the channels that I'm on. So it'd be like TikTok and YouTube and Instagram. Just, you know, like, share subscribe all of that good stuff and leave a comment let me know if you feel like you've put in hope into certain things and you've lost that hope and now your heart is somewhat sick because i know that thinking that this is what the life that you wanted and not getting it can be really discouraging so i'll be praying for everybody thank you again have a blessed day